All right, hello, and welcome to another uh, episode of my uh, sorry of my design process here for into the halls of the Storm King. Um, last time we uh, worked a little bit on the slopes of Shathurazan uh, area and some tables for that area. And so we came up with an encounter table and also the weather table for the whole adventure. Um, I was thinking a lot about this encounter table and I think it needs reworking um, because I was kind of looking at this from the perspective of having done some uh, hex crawl design. Uh, and in that case, your encounters, um, at least at the, the most general level, are all sort of lumped together. So I'm thinking here about, uh, you know, for example, the uh, tables in the Perilous Wilds. Um, or in Freebooters on the Frontier. Uh, and in those cases, you first have an en encounter and then, uh, or, well, you may also have a discovery, uh, but you probably, if you have an encounter, then you may have an environmental encounter or you may have a monster show up. Um, and so those are kind of lumped together. But uh, I think that we don't really want to do that in this module. So what I'm thinking is um, like these situations, uh, these two situations here, these should be taken out and made into locations uh, to discuss uh, or to, to, to sort of write about in more fullness and to um, make a, a, a defined part of the setting instead of something that may come up. Uh, and so we'll replace these two uh, with something else. Um, the weather table I think is still pretty good. Uh, so what we have here is uh, thunder snow, uh, whiteouts. Um, sorry, I have to. There we go. Get the chat up. Sir. Oh man. This is what happens when you don't have two monitors. <laughs> you have to do really bad hacky solutions like this. Okay, there we go. Um, yeah, so we have thunder snow, uh, whiteout conditions, hurricane force winds, um, extreme cold, severe hailstorms, ice storms, blizzards, hail fog, snow glare, uh, which is the only case where there would be any sunny weather, um, and uh, wet downbursts, uh, and then uh, rainstorm and windstorm. So in this case, there may be, it may be sunny in this case as well, uh, but generally gonna be very cloudy, very, very rough uh, environment. Um, and I think that's good. Like, I think this is, this is something that we're making to the halls of the Storm King. It should be storming all the time. Um, okay, as for this, let's, so under, so let's make this a, let's make this a heading. And let's talk about like um, locations. Okay, so one of these would be this location here. And another would be this location here. And now we need to fill in these parts of the table. Um, so I'm thinking maybe 
Um, I'm thinking maybe that... So I'm wondering if I should include an encounter with uh, Ubla Hilder um, in the encounter tables. And I kind of feel like I want to leave that up to the GM, like when the GM wants to insert, or the referee, I should say, when the referee wants to insert her into the narrative. Um, I think that... I don't know, I'm kind of torn on this because I kind of think back to like um, like the Castle Ravenloft uh, module in uh, early D&D &D and how there are sort of encounters with Strahd that are set up ahead of time. Uh, so maybe I want something like that um, or at least include a suggestion for where she might show up. Uh, I could see that being good. So instead, I think I'll come up with something else for these two here. So we have Elven Travelers. Um, I think it makes sense to have, uh, let's say, uh, 1d8 Dwarven Refugees. Uh, they're just fleeing the, the fortress um, because it has been taken over by the giants. And yeah, it's getting pretty bad in there. So that makes sense to me. Um, I think they, they, yeah, they count probably as HD2. Uh, their armor will be like, they're refugees. So I don't think it's as good as it could be. Um, uh, Dwarven craft uh, uh, axes and hammers would be uh, D. I mean, I think they have pretty similar stats to the elves, but um, they also would have like uh, crossbows. Um, and I think those would do. Crossbows are pretty strong. Hmm. Let's take a look at Macchiato monsters here. Oops. DR6 to DR12 guns. It's, yeah, I think this is fair. So, like, let's say, like, DR... DR10. Or maybe DR8, just because... Um, I want to kind of simul simulate the fact that they have to reload. Um, and their morale will be really low. Uh, let's say their morale is like DR6 because they're refugees. They don't want to fight. They're well armed, but that's about all they got going on. Um, so they're fleeing down the mountain. Uh, okay, so I think that's good. Uh, then... Maybe have another event. It's not a weather event. Um, let's go back to Stone Dragon Mountain, see if we can find something else that'd be cool as an event. Um,
maybe not. Maybe we're looking at something different. Okay, well, I'll have to come back to this. I don't want to lose my momentum here. Uh, so we have most of this table filled out. Um, I'm sure I'll come up with some more ideas. So then, uh, let's go back and take another look at Codex Cold, Wreck of the Void Hatred. So yeah, we have a brief description of the area. Um, then we have the contents and some ways to interact with the area. But this is maybe more sort of the thing we're looking at. This kind of brief description. So let's say, um, I don't think we have a fell field here uh, because this probably is a fair, well, it's not necessarily true. It could be, I mean, because the thing is the dwarves, maybe they shut themselves up in the fortress some time ago. Hmm. I like it, let's go with it. So, let's see. Um, right, so clouds. I believe Shother stands for clouds. Yeah. Cloud Mountain. Um, I think I want to go and find. all these declensions and this is too too complicated for me to in, get myself involved with I'm not gonna learn the grammar but um, do like to mess around with this a little bit um, so what are we gonna call this fell field
So maybe like, I don't know, uh, Felix Ziggle. Ooh, Sulun Ziggle. I don't know, that could be good. Fallen Silver. So the the Falunzigal <coughs> fell field. Daunting mass of scree that has covered the remains of the old Dwarven Highway. Uh, the scree is <coughs> rough and unstable. And traversal of the fell field is uh, is slow going. I think it is also the case that I think it would be the case that I'm just looking here at valuables. So we'll say um, we 
what's a reasonable amount of wealth here? Like D. Thinking like D10. Okay, so let's say um, searching <coughs> the fell field. Uh, or maybe amongst the scree of the fell field. Uh, there are um, clods, maybe? What is a clod specifically? It's a lump of dirt. Nodules? I don't think it is nodules. Maybe it is. I think it's a nodule. Um, amongst the scree of the fell field, there are nodules and um, nodules and fragments of silver ore uh, worth. There are uh, let's check the style here. Worth, yeah. Worth D ten. Oh, um, worth. Silver D10. Okay, cool. So, uh, the Falunzigal Fell Field is a daunting mass of scree that has covered the remains of the old Dwarven Highway. The scree is rough and unstable, and the traversal and traversal of the Fell Field is slow going. Amongst the scree of the Fell Field, there are nodules and fragments of silver ore worth silver D10. Cool. Um, And I could definitely see like um, the party may spot sorry, spell her name right, Google Hilder. Yeah. Uh, may spot Google Hilder watching them from a distance across the bell field. Cool, I think I like this. This is sounding solid. So it's like, this is really rough going. Um, you're gonna be exposed to really bad weather. Uh, camping on the fell field is gonna be really difficult because the ground is uneven. Um, and, uh, if you, you know, stick it out in this miserable weather, you can find, uh, some silver ore, but then that's going to be very heavy. Um, yeah, like, how do they do encumbrance in this game? That's a good question. It's a really good question. <sighs> I don't think it, maybe it is a thing, maybe it's not. Here in gold. I 
Uh, here we go. Your hero can comfortably carry one item per con or stir point, your choice. Uh, armor doesn't count towards this number. If they're willing to be encumbered, they can carry a number of items equal to stir plus con. Uh, when encumbered, the referee may give you a disadvantage on checks involving freedom of movement or fleetness of foot. Your travel speed is reduced as well. Yeah, I like that. Cool. That's good. That's really good. So yeah, so if they take the silver, then that's going to contribute towards their encumbrance, which is also really good. I like that a lot. They may just go back down the mountain and sell the silver, but then mm, they're going to have to roll again on the weather table, right? So it could could get worse if you don't if you don't press on. You're going to leave that silver there. What are you going to do? <laughs> All right. Cool. Feeling it. And yeah, we'll probably get like an encounter on this on this area, right? So could be a fight across the rough scree. Pretty cool stuff. Hard to find places to hide. Um may just want to add one more detail, which is um A daunting mass of scree. We're usually talking about cushion plants, perennials. Yeah. Yeah, it's like a lot of that. So I think it's like, um, a daunting mass of scree. in Blanketed in no, I don't want this in the same sentence. Daunting mass of scree that has covered the remains of the old Dorvan Highway in the years. In the long years 
since uh, Shafur Doom was closed to the outside world, the scree has been overgrown with Thin layer of thin layer of cushion plants and Okay, a daunting mass of scree that it was that has covered the remains of the old dwarven highway. In the long years since Shathar Doom was closed to the outside world, the scree has been overgrown with a thin layer of cushion plants and tough we weeds. Um, it is rough and unstable, and traversal of the fell field is r slow going. Um, terrain the terrain terrain is is rough and unstable and traversal of the fell field is slow going amongst the scree of the fell field amongst the scree don't want to waste words here there are nodules and fragments of silver ore worth silver d10 the party may spot Ubehilder watching them from a distance from across from across the fell field yeah okay let's see let's see 84 words but i think it's worth it i think this is a this is a nice little paragraph here all right so let's let's talk about this rickety rope bridges um let's let's talk about gorges and chasms um i think like we're probably looking at some words here like spike tooth So horn I'm liking, maybe like Narag, Narag bar. Narag. Not Og Zirak.
horn spike. Um, okay, let's look at gorges. Canyon. Hmm. So sure if that's what I'm looking at. Like cliff faces is kind of what I'm thinking here. Cliffs. Escarpments. No, we've talked about escarpments already. It's not an escarpment. Mm, face. Dale Hong. Barazirak Stale Hong Barazirak Face Barazirak Hanger Barazirak Cliffs
میگه Okay, so this is um, a shear. Uh, okay, so let's say, let's let's say. A steel hong. Shot through with chasms. Uh, pitted. Pitted with chasms. Pitted with deep chasms that was in former days okay yeah 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 was in former days um spanned by roads that spoke of the prodigious engineering of the dwarves of Shathur Doom. A stale hung pitted with deep chasms that was in former days spanned by roads that spoke of the prodigious engineering skill of the dwarves, dwarves of Shathur Doom. Uh, rock slides And the elements have shattered these works and once again made Barazirak
area to traverse. Um, So I don't think there's even going to be bridges in such. Um, Uh, some remnants uh, the, uh, some uh, parts of the road remain intact but the gaps wrought by That's a good word. Face. Uh, I think face is good enough. Delayed uh, with mountaineering tools. 
Jesus. Okay, so what are we looking at here? Uh, a stale hung pitted with deep chasms that was in former days spanned by roads that spoke of the prodigious engineering skills of the dwarves of Shathar Doom. Rock slides and the elements have shattered these works and once again made Barazirak a perilous area to traverse. Some uh, parts of the road remain intact, but the gaps wrought by natural decay must be belayed by mount with mountaineering tools. Characters must save or take d12 falling damage. Okay, that's good. Um, so these are sub locations. We have two sub locations. Um, I could see <clears throat> maybe one more. Um, Maybe like an alpine forest. Oh, well, <clears throat> excuse me, <laughs> this is a bit of a misnomer. Um, okay, let's look at forests. of the tree line. Torrid, temperate, frigid. Alpine tree line is the highest elevation that sustains trees. Higher up it is too cold or the snow cover lasts for too much of the year to sustain trees. Uh, the climate above the tree line of the mountains is called an alpine climate and the terrain can be described as alpine tundra. Uh -huh. So what do we call something that is below the tree line? Timber line, timber line.
Okay, I think we're gonna need to look at Timberline Ecology. Timberline is the line which limits a closed forest where the tree line includes the highest upward growing tree. Yes, so we're looking at that. Alpine biome maybe is what we need here. Nifers, trees.
Timberland is good. I like that. Okay, so we'll say so something, something Timberland. Okay. Um Can 
can go with that. Uzeros Timberland. Osgazaros. <laughs> it's definitely not oak. Pine. Tarbazaros. Tarbazaros. Zaros Timberland. Okay. Um, Okay, what can we have in the forest? Um, so we're <clears throat> we're talking about uh, pine forest. Um, there's probably some bears and stuff up there, but like that's not that interesting. Um, this might be a place so let's think about environmental storytelling so first of all i think this is a place where the parties could probably the party could probably rest um we'll say it's probably lower on the mountain um okay so what do we call that flagging Okay, so I think there's a lot of flagging. So this uh, alpine forest was once uh, logged by the dwarves and by dwarves and humans alike for its pine uh, for the lumber of its those years have long since passed and the
abandoned tools of the loggers have uh, are covered are now concealed by Pine forest covered by the understory. Those years have long since passed, and the abandoned tools of the loggers are now concealed by the forest understory in the rocky soil that has blown atop it. Uh, the Trees at the forest edge are bent, twisted, and flagged by the harsh elements, but shelter may be found. Digging in the understory can reveal the following remnants of industry.
Okay, so what are we thinking here? Um, So dr8, let's say dr8 uh, dwarven forestry tools, axes, saws, um, Call that um, wedges. would there be um, maybe like Mountaineering pack. Uh, maybe a tent. Tent preserved from the elements by And like maybe some alcohol. Um, I think if I'm correct, they just added two macchiato monsters, some rules for intoxicants. Oops, that's not it. Uh, 
Um, yeah, let's see this. Okay, um, DR for Freebooters RUM uh, is disadvantage on dex checks, advantage on morals. So, dis, uh, yeah. Okay. Say that each of these. Okay, so we have, um, <clears throat> we now have uh, three different areas, sub areas for this, this uh, slopes of Shathurazan. Um, I think these are pretty good. Uh, I think they're a good start. Um, and I wanna give a little bit <coughs> of description of the area in general. So <clears throat> let's look at my writing guide here. What happened? What do the characters know? Hmm. So this should be a separate paragraph. and what do the characters know? So let's see how Stone Dragon Mountain covers their general area introductions. They have some some box text for the GM to read. Gates of Shathur Doom were built high atop the slopes of the mountain within which it is housed. Uh, to reach the fortress, the mountain must first be scaled. Uh, so I won't post. Uh, uh, 
just below the timber line. In former times, a great highway was built by the dwarves of the mountain to, uh, built by the dwarves of Shathur Doom to uh, facilitate trade commerce with those who lived below its peaks. Uh, the road, the remnants, uh, the road was a bit, uh, Road is um, is broad and level, <laughs> and traverses uh, and is built through and across sheer rock faces in many areas but <clears throat> in many but in uh, however it has fallen into decay in the, I, however, it has uh, been overtaken by the elements since the dwarves rejected contact with outsiders and turned towards their uh, experimentation with planar gates. vegetation of its faces have been ravaged and ascent of the mountain will not be easy. Uh, the ascent So I don't think we can your risk and die here. The ascent takes, let's say, one d four days, and
let's see, is there rules in this for... So we can use the wilderness encounter rules. Um, the PCs will face encounters as per the rules page page reference is 25 um, using the table the encounter table below. Let's not do that. Let's just specify the rules. I don't think it's worth worth uh, referring specifically to this page because we're going to modify things here a bit. Um, so the ascent takes 1d4 days. The PCs will face encounters uh, twice per day and once per night. Rolling uh, DR ten Oops, that's not what I want. It is yeah, DR ten uh, on the encounter table below. Okay. Um, it covers it basically uh, I think there should be another role for finding the entrance Uh, no, maybe not. Um, uh, if the PCs follow the uh, follow the road to Shathur Doom, they 
uh, will find its entrance after they have passed uh, all three locations and <clears throat> traveled for the required period of time. <clears throat> if they uh, diverge from the road, uh, they may become lost. Where's the rules for getting lost? So um, if they diverge from the road, they must uh, roll to avoid getting lost. Page 25. Um, Okay, I think we have a thing. I think we did it. We have a thing. We have, so all that we need left is to fill in this encounter and we're done. So the most they could um, oh, this should be rolled d10 twice. Uh, the most they could encounter would be, so it's three, three times four is 12. So we will need to, we will need to write this as a D12. So we need to include two more encounters. So we'll say um, rock slide
can she get her stats? She's going to be a badass, so... So we'll say she probably has about an HD of four. Um, armor, armor of DR10. Uh, she has a sweet sword. What is it gonna be called? No, she has a spear. Um, So we're not using dwarven words now. We have to go to Old Norse. We should just use Icelandic.
mean, that seems okay to me. Damage should be serious business. Um, so a dragon's bite. D10. Like maybe a D12. is going to be gigantic. Uh, DR 12. Okay, so we need one more thing. Or maybe this should be split off into a separate table for her appearances, depending on the form she takes. One more encounter.
think like rock serpents, something like that would be cool. So you have HD three. Um, their uh, bite does. does 2d6 does okay so let's say 3d6 damage uh, crushing uh, constricting constricting uh, does um, let's say double that or no uh, 4d6 damage put this down to 2d6. interested in what's going on. <clears throat> okay, we did a thing. So let's take this out of the scratch pad. And we'll say this is the slopes of
into here. Then let's uh, give that in one, in two. Choose a better font here. that isn't super important. Okay, but uh, let's move this, make sure we move it into where is this? Don't I have a folder for this stuff? Oh yeah, here it is. Okay, great. All right, so I think it's gonna do it for this stream. Uh, we got an area, we got the first draft of an area. I'm gonna show this around to some people uh, who were actually interested in editing it. Um, and we'll see where we go from there. Uh, we'll start to talk about the fortress maybe. But you know, one thing to check out here is what is our word count? So that's already almost half. So we're gonna have to cut a lot. Uh, we're gonna have to edit out a lot but I'm confident we can get it down to something more reasonable, like uh, maybe 600, that would be good. Um, yeah, so thanks for watching, and uh, I know it wasn't a super eventful stream, but I'll try to, to do something a little bit more conceptual next time. I'll see you then.